Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss NSTSC sample paper 2023-24 for class 7. Here is the syllabus. You can pause the video and review it. Mathematics Question 1. In the given figure, PA is parallel to BC, parallel to DT and AB is parallel to DC. Then the values of A and B are respectively Angle PAB is equal to 50 degree. So angle ABC will also be 50 degree vertically opposite angle rule. So sum of angles on any straight line is equal to 180 degree. So angle C is equal to 180 minus 50 degree that is equal to 130 degree. So if angle C is 130 degree, angle D will also be 130 degree according to the rule of vertically opposite angle. So angle A is 50 degree, angle B is 130 degree. Correct answer is option B. Question 2. Triangles ABC and CDE are isosceles triangles. ACEF is a straight line. Find the value of Y. Angle E is 124 degree. Angle E in triangle DCE will be 180 minus 124 that is equal to 56 degree. If angle E is 56 degree, angle C will also be 56 degree. Why? Because angle DCE is an isosceles triangle means angle E is equal to angle C. Now we'll find the value of C in triangle BAC. It will be 180 minus 72 plus 56. 72 plus 56 is 128. So 180 minus 128 is equal to 52 degree. So angle C is 52 degree. Angle A will also be 52 degree. Because this triangle is also isosceles. Angle A is equal to angle C. Now we can easily find the value of y. 180 minus 52 plus 52. 180 minus 104. It is equal to 76 degree. So y here is 76 degree. Correct answer is option D. Question 3. Find the measure of Y in the given figure. PQR is an equilateral triangle means all the angles in triangle PQR is 60 degree. Now X plus Y plus Y is equal to 180 degree. X here is 180 minus 60 degree. So 180 minus 60 degree is 120 degree. So we can say y is equal to 180 minus 120 upon 2. 180 minus 120 is 60 degree. So 60 degree upon 2 which is 30 degree and your answer is 30 degree option A. Question 4. What is the measure of X? Angle P is 90 degree. Angle S is equal to angle P is equal to 28 degree. Because angle PRS is isosceles triangle. Angle P is equal to angle S. So angle R in triangle PRS is equal to 180 minus 28 plus 28. 28 plus 28 is equal to 56. So 180 minus 56 is equal to 124 degrees. Now, value of R in triangle PQR is equal to 180 minus 124. That is equal to 56 degree. So now we can easily find the value of X. 180 minus 90 plus 56. 180 minus 146 
is equal to 34 degree. So your answer is 34 degree. Correct answer is option C. Question 5. A regular hexagon is divided into four triangles. Which of the following is correct? Correct answer is option A. When considering congruent triangles, the order is very important. Physics. Question 6. Given below is a metal rod. Four drops of wax W, X, Y and Z are placed at the distance of 5 cm, 10 cm, 15 cm and 25 cm respectively from the end M. When heated from the end M, drop W fall off first in 2 minutes time. What will be the time taken for the drops X, Y and Z to fall in minutes? To cover 5 cm, it takes 2 minutes. To cover 10 cm, it will take 2 to the 4, 4 minutes. To cover 15 cm, it will take 2, 3 the 6, 6 minutes. Imagine here it is 20 cm. To cover 20 cm, it will take 2, 4 the 8 minutes. To cover 25 cm in 2 minutes, it will take 2 fives are 10, 10 minutes. So we have 4 minutes, 6 minutes, 8 minutes, 10 minutes. 8 minutes, no, because we have to find only x, y and z. x, 4, y, 6, z, 10. 4, 6, 10. Correct answer is option A. Question 7. Which of the following electrical appliances does not use the magnetic effects of current? Electrical appliances shown in options A, C and D use the magnetic effects of current. An electric bulb converts the electric energy to light energy. So the correct answer is option B, electric bulb. Question 8. The given figure shows the image of a clock as seen in a plane mirror. The correct time is... Suppose the mirror is on the right side. There is the clock on the mirror. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So one of the hands is going above 3. So it will go something like this. And the minute hand is something like this. So we can say the time is 9.25, right? Yes, 9.25. So correct answer is option D. Question 9. A hot air balloon rises up because... A hot air balloon rises up because the hot air in the balloon is less dense than the cooler air surrounding it. Answer is option B. Question 10. Which option is correct for all heat transfers? Option C. Conduction occurs only in solids. Convection occurs only in liquids and gases. And radiation requires no medium. Question 11. Which of the following is a physical change? Option C. A glass bottle after it breaks undergoes a change only in its shape and size but not in its composition. So it is a physical change. Question 12. What causes convection currents in air? Air on the surface of the earth gets heated up due to sunlight. It becomes lighter and goes up. It gets cooled and comes down. Thus, convectional currents occur on the earth. So, correct answer is option C. The heat on the surface of the earth. Question 13. Read the following statements and answer. 1. Ozone protects us from sun's harmful radiations. 2. Ozone absorbs the UV radiations from the sun and breaks down to oxygen. 3. Oxygen acts as a protective shield. Correct answer is option A. Statement 1 and 2 are correct but statement 3 is false because ozone acts as a protective shield and not oxygen. Question 14. 
which of the following word equations represents neutralization? Sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid react to form sodium chloride and water which is a neutralization reaction. Correct answer is option A. Let's see the other options as well. Option B. It is a thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate. Option C. It is the burning or combustion of hydrogen gas. Option D. It is the burning or combustion of methane gas. Question 15. So, Hale's teacher asked to identify the correct order of the processes listed below to purify water and make it safe for drinking. 1. Filtration 2. Sedimentation 3. Chlorination 4. Addition of chemicals Which of the following is the correct order that Sohail arranged? Water is first allowed to settle so that a sediment of impurities is formed. Then chemicals like alum and lime are added so that sediments further settle down. Then the water is filtered through sand and gravel, thereby making it pure. Then it is chlorinated to make it free from germs and bacteria. So the correct order is option C. Biology Question 16 Which of these characteristic features hold true about the figure given below? Pitcher plant, Venus flytrap, bladderwort. The picture is of pitcher plant. Pitcher plant found in Khasia Hills of Meghalaya is an endangered plant producing pitchers as modified leaf lamina. They attract and kill their prey but passively through their attractive colors. They also produce sugary nectar and sweet scents. From this relationship, the plants primarily gain nitrogen and phosphorus to supplement their nutrient requirement for growth. Correct answer is option D, all of these. Question 17. Study the concept map below. What is X? Is a part of the digestive system, connects the mouth to the stomach. So all the four Options A, C and D are part of digestive system. Windpipe is not a part of digestive system. The second statement, it connects the mouth to the stomach. Oesophagus connects the mouth to the stomach. Correct answer is option A. Question 18, identify the correct pair. Option D, malphagian tubules. Question 19, Show the correct path of digestion. The food first goes in the mouth, then it goes into the gullet, then it goes into the stomach, from the stomach it goes into the small intestine and then into the large intestine. The path is C E B D A. It is in option B. Correct answer is option B. Question 20. The diagram below shows how carbon dioxide is given out or taken in during the processes P, Q and R. Which of the following correctly identify the processes P, Q and R? P. Animals release carbon dioxide. This process is called respiration. Answer can be either A or B. Then carbon dioxide is taken in through the plants. This process is photosynthesis and then plants release carbon dioxide which is a process of respiration. So correct answer is option A. Critical thinking. Question 21. Carl, Dylan and Edmund are best friends. Only one of them knows how to drive. Carl, I can drive. Dylan, I do not know how to drive. Edmund, Carl does not know how to drive. Only one of them is telling the truth. Who can drive? If Carl is true, others must be false. It means Dylan also knows how to drive. But it goes against the fact that only one of them can drive. He is lying. If Dylan is true, Edmund must be lying. It means Carl also knows how to drive. But it goes against the fact that only one of them can drive. He is also lying. If Edmund is true, both Carl and Dylan's statement become false. Only one is saying the truth. All assumptions are being kept in mind. Thereby, Edmund is true. 
since dailem was lying it means he knows how to drive so correct answer is option c question 22 arrange the following words in a meaningful order first there is a member many members from form many members form a family many families form community many communities live in locality and locality is in a country so the order is 3 1 2 4 5 correct answer is option a question 23 choose the word that is necessary part of the word language words are the things you speak you write you say them by your tongue so the correct answer is option d words question 24 A group of people go to a restaurant for a dinner. They requested to be seated at the same table. The restaurant has only rectangular tables that can be joined end to end to form a large long table. Study the figure given below. How many people can be seated if there are 20 tables? The tables are kept like this. and on the middle table four people are sitting and if you suppose this is the first table and this is the 20th table that means 18 tables are kept between the first and the 20th so 18 tables and on one table four people are sitting so 18 fours are 72 okay so 72 people are sitting on the 18 tables and if you count the remaining two tables five people another five people 10 people are sitting on the remaining two tables so we'll add 10 to 72 we get 82 so means 82 people can be seated if there are 20 tables correct answer is option c Question twenty five. A doctor gives you three pills and tells you to swallow one pill every hour. How long would it take for you to complete the course? There are three pills, okay, and you take the first one at twelve. So the first pill at twelve, second pill at one, and the third pill at two. So twelve to one, one hour. One to two, two hours. So the course would be completed in two hours. Correct answer is option B. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next.